Hello, YouTube. It's me, John Avenger, once again. And finally, I'm, I, I took a couple days off, and now I'm back. And welcome back to TV Movie Month. Now, this time, unfortunately, this is going to be a rant. This is a sequel to a uh, TV movie that I saw 10 years ago, and I did not like it. And that was the, the first Camp Rock. I thought that movie was shit. It's one of the worst Disney Channel movies I've ever watched. And I didn't even watch it on Disney Channel. I rented it in, uh, at Blockbuster when they were still around. But anyway, this is the sequel that came out in 2010, just a couple years ago. Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam. Now, I will say, this is better than the first one, but that's not saying much. Because uh, the first one, everybody was so freaking mean to each other, and I didn't like Demi Lovato's character in the first one. Here, she's a little less of a, of a liar, and she's more likable, but it's still, this was her last Disney Channel movie. She never came back after this. Plus, this one, they made a lot of changes that I was not a fan of either. Like, they the remember the British guy, that dumbass from the first movie that said Final Jim? Yeah, he comes back in this movie, and he has a substantial role. And, like, why is he one of the focuses of this movie? I don't think it was needed in this film. You could have easily cut him out. They bring back the same characters. You know, uh, Joe Jonas is Shane, and then his brothers, Nick and Kevin, are in the movie. They have more to do. Uh... They had uh, their little brother, uh, what was his name, no, uh, Frankie Jonas, I don't remember his name, he has a camera, Megan Martin comes back, and the black girl, and uh, and the Asian girl, and I know I don't know them by names, most of them I don't know, I also Finnegan, uh, the, 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 the light-skinned black guy that was dancing in the first movie, he's back, but like I said, the reason I hated the first movie besides that it was, you know, really boring and, and uninspired and it was just a knockoff of High School Musical was that I didn't care about what was going on. Same thing here, except this is a little bit less... It's just forgettable. It's a forgettable sequel that we didn't need. And there's even more characters that I don't care about in this movie. Let me put the fan on because I'm hot. Because, you know, it's going to be a little lengthy. Now, basically... It takes place a year after the first movie. Mitchie comes back to Camp Rock, and she's like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do things like we did in the last movie." And then uh, basically, there's a rival camp that wants to take over their uh, their you know spot. And there's like this competition uh, for the camps to go up against each other at the end of the movie called the Final Jam. But I didn't give a shit. Just like the first one, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care about Mitchie in this one. She's more likable, but. You know, Demi was trying to, she colored her hair for some reason, because in the first film she had, like, light hair, and in this one she has, like, black hair, and I'm like, yeah, she, you don't even look like the character from the first film. And she's not smiling through her teeth as much, like in the first movie, she was smiling like this, with her teeth out, like she's freaking the Joker, and I'm like, I know that there was pain behind that smile, Demi, you were trying to smile your, your insecurities away, and that's not gonna work for me, and, and... She's not really the best actress. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I hated her acting in the first film, and here she just fell flat for me. She can sing, but stick to singing, Demi, because you're not the best actress. A lot of the songs in this movie, they're choreographed like they're a music video. Like, they're going like this, and they're going like this, and they're going side to side and jumping around. I'm like, it felt too much like a music video. And, uh, you know, when there's a the, when, when the cast are, like, dancing and doing dubstep, it, it's really annoying. I like that dubstep joke in, in Deadpool 2. That was actually funny. I never laughed in this movie. I was just like, oh my god, this is just as bad as the first one. Not worse, but it's just forgettable. Like, I didn't remember this plot. I didn't care about Shane and and, uh, and Mitchie's romance because it's, it's barely functional here. The songs were forgettable. I don't remember. I remember the song Nick Jonas sang. It was ruined because of Chloe Bridges. She's the worst actress in this freaking movie. Every time she sees Nick Jonas, she looks like she's 10 years older than him. And she's smiling through it with her teeth out like she's going to bite his neck like a vampire. And I'm like, Chloe Bridges, you have no right to talk, okay? You can't act. I don't like your face. You look like Angelina Jolie. And her face gives me nightmares too. So Daisy Ridley's not the only one. And uh, yeah, and, and so Chloe Bridges, just she's just there. Like, where the hell does she come from? Like, the rival camp? I'm like, I didn't give a shit about that. I didn't. The songs are forgettable. I don't remember a single song from the movie. The soundtrack is lame. It's not upbeat. It's, it's very bland. It's really rotten. Like, I didn't like the songs in the first one song. The This Is Me from the first movie was okay. 
and, and that's about it. Because We Rock was a shitty song in the first film. Here, I don't remember the songs. It's like, it's very predictable. You know what's going to happen. You know that Shane and Mitchie are going to end up together. They're going to kiss. And I didn't buy it because I saw High School Musical 2 and that was done better. Here, it's just like, it, it's just a bland sequel that has no soul. It's very predictable. The characters are just flat as tap water. The, the story doesn't flow very well. Like, it feels long for some reason. It's not even two hours that I felt it dragging. The jokes didn't work. Uh, Mitchie's mother, I wasn't likable in the first film. And uh, here, Mitchie's not hiding as much like in the first film. But like I said, I didn't. if I didn't like her in the first movie, do you really think I'm going to like her in the second movie? Case in point. Yeah. I don't like them in the first movie. There's no way in the sequels they're going to make me like them anymore. Sometimes when you get a good director or writer, you can, you can do it. But this director, Jeff Hornaday, doesn't, he just doesn't know what he's doing. Like he can choreograph people. He can do good choreography, you know, but it's, again, it, it's staged like it's a music video. And that's not what I'm watching. I didn't like Zombies this year from 2018, but at least that movie had two leads that I liked. Uh, Meg Donnelly and, and, and uh, Cameron Monaheim. They were really good. Here, I don't care for Joe Jonas as, as, as an actor in this movie. And him and, and Demi, they have... They can sing together, but they can't act with each other. And uh, they just say he has more chemistry with his brothers. Why? Because of the, you know, blood is thicker than water, guys. Remember that. But here, it's just this movie is very forgettable. Camp Rock 2, just, we didn't need it. We didn't need a Descendants 2. We don't need a Descendants 3. That's mostly for girls. That's why I don't watch them. But this was a, a four sequel, two years after the first one. And it, it, it fell flat. Like, literally a day after this movie came out, it was on DVD, like, the very next day. And I'm like, why? It's boring. This movie, there's a reason you don't see this in Best Buy anymore. Because it's it's flat. It's a, ter it's a, is it god-awful? No, it's just mediocre. And I didn't care for it. I just thought that, you know, if you've seen the first one, you, you've seen, you, you've seen it, you've seen it done again here. It's not the same story, but it's just been there, done that character's that I didn't care about in the first one. So seeing their story continue didn't mean anything to me. It was just blah. And there were better sequels than this. Like Xenon the sequel is better than this. Uh, the second... No, not the second Cheetah Girls. I hated that one. Uh, there's not really a lot of Disney Channel sequels that live up to the first one. Except for like HSM 2. At least that's better than this. It was, you know, colorful and had more memorable songs. And I like the characters from the first film. So seeing them in two and three helped a lot. Here, it's just like, okay, we're not going to be as shitty as the first one, but we're still not going to wow you. And I'm like, that's how I felt. That's why I don't want to see Solo, guys. Because I don't want to be like, okay, this is not terrible, but it's just blah. I don't care what's going on. So if I don't care, then the movie and the, sh the movie's not worth my time. And this wasn't. I saw this two years ago. I was like dead I was like, why did I watch this movie? And I'm like, oh my god, this is just boring. Can this song just end? And yeah, it's not that I hate singing, because I've seen a lot of musicals, but this is not a good movie. It falls flat. It's a very bland sequel to the first one. And if I had liked the first one, I'd be like, okay, I can ignore the sequel and just remember the second one. But, uh, you know... I could just, you know, be self-contained. But here, no, it hurts the first film, and it's just it's just nothing. What did the sequel make better than the first one? Oh, it, you know, Mitchie's not, not an asshole like in the first film, where she's lying that her mom is this and that. And it's like, no, my mom's a cook in the, in the camp, and that's it. That's it. That's a big reveal. She's about as... Mitchie, Mitchie, uh, what was her face? Uh, Torres is about as bland as the hobo, guys. No backstory. At least she has a mom, so we know where she comes from. But th both characters have nothing. They're just nothing. You come from nothing, so you are nothing. And this writer, the writers of this didn't get why I liked uh, Vanessa Hudgens in, in uh, the High School Musical films. Because she was interesting and cute and shy. And I like Sharpay better because she had personality. Megan Martin literally is barely in this freaking movie. It's like she's in the beginning of the film and then she joins the rival gang and then at the end, she joins the guys. And I'm like, I don't buy it, okay? You betray Camp Rock to go to the rival, to, to, to work with the enemy, the rival camp, if you will, in the enemy camp. And then you, you're like, no, it's okay. Well, I forgive you. And I'm like, yeah, that doesn't work. 
Be consistent, Disney. But you're not. You made a lot of shitty films, sequels, and this is one of them. So that's my rant on Camp Rock 2, the final jam. It was the final one in the franchise. I'm glad there was never a third one. It's bland. It's boring. It's forgettable. The characters have no personality. The new characters didn't do... I didn't give a shit about them. Like Chloe Bridges and and Frankie Jonas, he was trying. He's a kid. I'm not going to give him a lot of flack. And uh, the rival gang, I, the, the rival camp, I didn't give a shit. I just didn't. Seen this done before, guys. I've seen rivals go up against each other. Hell, I saw that in, in Ernest Goes to Camp. That's a better camp movie than this shit. Or Camp Fred, the Fr Fred 3, the, the, the third Fred movie. That's not a masterpiece, but it is compared to this. I'd rather see any of the Fred movies over these Camp Rock movies. They both suck. They both are forgettable musicals. The songs do nothing for me. The singing does nothing for me. The story does nothing for me. And that's all that counts. And like the new Star Wars, the characters are just they're, they're 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 just cliches and generic. There's nothing to them. I want more bang for my buck. That's what that gave me this year. It gave me more bang for my buck. You got a new villain, new characters that they introduced, and, and some that came back from the previous films, and you had a kick-ass freaking third act. The ending is weak, but again, I'll take a weak ending over that doesn't kill the movie over a movie that I didn't give a shit when this started. So Take that for what you will, but I know I know probably Josh likes this movie. It's fine, Josh. I, it's not for me. After this, I didn't see another musical from Disney Channel for a long freaking time because I didn't like Lemonade Mouth. I shut that off. Uh, I didn't see. I didn't like uh, Zombies. I, I'm not seeing Freaky Friday coming out next month. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, I didn't see Let It Shine. Uh, I just, I don't care. You don't have to sing and dance. You know, Disney, you're not going to top the singers from the Disney animated films from back in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s. You're also not going to top the spectacular singing in the Disney Broadway shows and in shows like Sophia the First and Tangled, the series. That singing is amazing. It makes me feel something. I feel so alive when I'm watching the freaking shows. Here, I'm like, okay, I'm bored. I'm so bored. Let this musical end. Let this freaking, these musical numbers just finish. They're two minutes or four minutes and they feel like ten minutes. And yeah, just this movie sucks, guys. Just don't watch it. If you didn't, if you like the first one, you can skip the sequel. There's more of the same. Blank characters, singers that can sing, but they're just, their singing doesn't do it for me in this movie. It's just them singing as themselves, not as a character. But anyway, that's my rant on Camp Rock 2. It sucks. I wanted to rant on it. I was, I'm was i not going to throw things because I'm like, I, I forgot about the movie as, after I saw it. It's not a good movie. And uh, I'd rather watch uh, the freaking Xenon movies, again, the first two, or the first three Halloween Town movies. At least they don't sing like this. Even Girl vs. Monster. Olivia Holt is great in that movie, and she sings at the end. It's, she says, I'm fearless. There you go. She's fearless in the new show. She's in Cloak and Dagger. Demi isn't fearless. Like not She she had to go through freaking therapy and, and freaking like rehab because she's messed up. Now she's better. Stay, sit, stay as a singer, Demi. Nobody wants to see you on camera in a Disney Channel movie ever again. Because we could tell that why you exited after this. Because it was just going to shit. But anyway, not going to blame her. She didn't write the movie or direct it. So I blame the writers and the director and Disney Channel for forcing the sequel, thinking it, it was going to set the world on fire, and it didn't. Ah. Well, that's it for Camp Rock 2, the mediocre sequel. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next review.